The city of Santa Cruz has a reputation for being an open and diverse area, but nestled within the county is the San Lorenzo Valley where different colors, creeds, and orientations might not be as welcome as you might think. The Valley community has fostered, has fostered youngsters who burnt the high school library, threw bottles out of car windows at people of different colored skin, and used derogatory terms on a daily basis. In Santa Cruz, there may be rainbow flags, but in Boulder Creek, some people fly conf the Confederate flag instead. SOV, I think, is like the valley is just set apart, and I think that's why it's different from the, you know the whole Santa Cruz thing and how we're diverse because there's just not that big of a diversity in our valley. And then when we're fronted with it, it's kind of like a difference, and so then we don't know how to handle that difference. You know, like. Born and raised for 23 years, living in the valley. It's like you get used to the same neighbors, you get used to the same people, and then, you know, random new families move in. You're kind of like, who are they? Where are they from? And it's just, you know, redneck city kind of thing. And I don't know, it's just kind of hard to take diversity when outside our walls or the hills, it's so different. One Boulder Creek resident had to deal with adversity firsthand. As a gay male, he relied on a handful of friends to accept him for who he was growing up in Boulder Creek. There's some weird hicks out here. <laughs> like seriously. Like I always when my parents wanted to move here, the first thing I thought was, oh God, like really. But it didn't end up being as bad as I thought it would. Being harassed, I don't know, there was this one time when I was driving down through downtown Boulder Creek. And um, I remember blasting my gay music, because I like doing that. Um, and then some guys were in a car, like, behind me, I guess, and were, like, honking their horn. And this was, like, 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 at night, and they were honking their horn, and they were, like, yelling things out the window, like, hey, faggot, like, want to come have some fun, stuff like that. Um, and they were just kind of harassing me on the road and, like, following me, and they followed me, too. Um, my street, like the growing up, like hearing all the kids in the school make fun of gay people or call each other faggots and stuff, that was kind of discouraging. Um, and then hearing about like, I don't know, skinhead gangs or whatever that attacked like people who were probably come on earlier, if um, if I felt more comfortable being open with people. Even though Seabird's soul has now come out, he is still cautious when he goes downtown Boulder Creek and walks around San Lorenzo Valley. Um, I cover up my gay belt when I go out because I don't really know who would bother me, you know? Because people around here actually might. <laughs> Despite the adversity in the valley, Siebert Soul and others like him still have a good outlook on the future. San Lorenzo Valley residents may just be behind the rest. As a whole, the world is getting more comfortable with it, and in that sense, I think that it's getting a little more acceptable in every school.